Cancer. Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Cancer placement. Cancer, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Cancer out there. All right, we have, am I getting this all wrong? Wow, okay. So, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up that this masculine, it's at the stage where they're realizing exactly what it is you represent in their lives here, okay? I'm picking up on a divine masculine that has come into the awareness that you are the physical manifestation of unconditional love. Wow, that's powerful. Okay. And upon coming into this awareness about you, divine feminine, they're beginning to look over the connection and question a lot of the decisions that they have made. For some of these divine masculines, they definitely mishandled you somewhere along the journey here because they had no idea how powerful this connection would be, how sacred this connection would be. For some of them, I'm getting that they're actually in a state of disbelief or they're really, really shocked, okay, as they look at where you are in the connection right now and realize that it is you standing beside them, okay? It is you that has, you know, this kind of hold on them emotionally, sexually, mentally, spiritually, okay, in every facet of their lives here. And it's making them question a lot of the decisions that they've made and how they've handled you during the ebbs and flow of this journey here. They're asking themselves, wow, am I really screwing this up? Am I getting this all wrong? Um, they really realize that they aligned with you on this journey because you were exactly what it was that they needed, okay? You have this ability to extract some of the best parts of your person okay and you're literally the only person that has this power to do this okay so where your person stands right now even if you're at a distance from them they're really really in a state of disbelief okay realizing how special you are to them realizing what it is that you mean to them for some of them they could be going through a spiritual journey here they could very well be doing a lot of research here but Something about your connection is highlighted in your person's life at this time. And it's like they're laser focused on you, but they're also focusing on themselves here, okay? They're turning the light on themselves and they're looking at their actions. They're looking at their emotional responses that they've given you here. And they're beginning to question themselves and to question a lot of their motives and their intentions during your connection here, okay? And it's almost as if this is like an internal whisper where they're saying, wow, if this connection is as powerful as it is, if it's still relevant at this stage of my life, because for some of you, you have a lot of history with your person. They're like, wow, if this is a sacred connection, if you know, this person was presented to me from the most high. Am I screwing this up? Am I getting this wrong? You know, am I sabotaging this connection here? So while there's definitely been something, um, some type of situation, this could be external to your connection, this could be an internal process, but something has definitely highlighted your connection to the point where your person is questioning their own um, intentions and their own actions and how they showed up, okay? Wow, very powerful energy here. Let's get the next message. The next message we have is afraid of getting lost in you. Hmm. So I feel like this could be, if you were wondering why your person was showing up in a certain way within your connection, this is definitely why here. 
they were actually afraid of getting lost in you, Divine Feminine, okay? And I feel like although your person may have tried to hide this, I feel like you intuitively picked up on your person's, you know, internal process during your connection here. Um, they really don't have the ability to hide from you. I feel like there's an intense energetic bond between you and your person where you pick up on certain emotional cues. You know your person extremely well here. And I feel like that's the element to you that your person is kind of afraid of. There could definitely be something going on with their heart chakra where your person really never allowed themselves to get lost in love. And for you, you were the first person that actually scared them because they knew that they were going to get lost in you, okay? And it's like they try to prevent this from happening. So there were certain times in your connection where things would get very intense. They would get very hot and heavy and your person would pull away, okay? This is because your person felt themselves losing control. And we know the masculine energy operates in control. So for you, your person would really view you as someone who makes them feel unbalanced emotionally. Because when it comes to your presence, when it comes to your energy, you have this ability to make your person react in ways that they're not used to, okay? This could be certain emotional responses, okay? So it's almost as if they would rather kind of back away when they feel this level of intensity. But if their hearts can really speak to you, they would tell you, you know, I'm afraid of how you make me feel. I'm afraid of the level of intensity that you're able to bring out of me. You know, you can say one thing and it can literally alter the trajectory of my day here. And I don't understand how you're able to do this. It makes me feel crazy. It makes me feel all over the place. So I would just rather pull back. But because, you know, your person wasn't able to articulate this, this definitely may have shown up in your connection as them being hot and cold, as them not being able to properly articulate their emotional processes, okay? But this is simply stemming from your person being afraid of how much they love you, okay? It's just that simple. So I'm getting Divine Feminine. You are very, very powerful. Your energy is very nurturing. I'm feeling you have this natural ability to balance your person out, okay? It's almost as if you bring out the best in your person and you're able to kind of extract the best parts of them, okay? And they got really, really comfortable in your energy. And for some of them, so much so that it scared them a little bit, okay? So even though your person is showing up saying, wow, I'm, I'm afraid of, of getting lost in you, or I was afraid of getting lost in you, Divine Feminine, you definitely picked up on the fact that they already kind of were lost in your energy. And this is why it was confusing to you because you felt as if, you know, you were a safe space, that they were, you know, letting you in and then you would get the pushback, which was very, very confusing, okay? So yeah, it's almost as if your person is looking at their behavior and saying, wow, you know, um, I kind of made some wrong turns. So let's get the next message here. Yeah. We have only you can do this to me. Yeah. So that that is how intense and how powerful your energy is. And you also have to look at this from, from your masculine's view here. Imagine going through your life and having different situations and then you meet this person and they literally have the ability to make you feel things that you have never felt before. Okay, um, I almost feel like your person was intention intentionally trying to hide their emotions during this connection here because you made them feel very, very crazy. Okay, and this is why they were acting this. This is why they were acting like this because um, 
they lost their sense of control here, okay? You literally make this masculine feel out of control and that's something that they don't like. But I feel like it's also highlighting your connection because you are the only person that has made them feel this way, that is able to make them, you know, have these kind of adverse reactions here. And I'm also getting this weird energy where it's like, Although this confuses your person, although this may make them feel a little weird, it's like it intrigues them at the same time. So it's like they run back, they want more, and then it gets super intense and, you know, they pull back from this energy. So that's definitely that push and pull, hot and cold kind of energy that may show up in your connection here. But yeah, your person is letting you know that you're the only person that they have felt this with. So this is a very new feeling for them. Um... I just got the word exhilarating, okay? So it's something about your energy that just really makes your person um, feel like they are on cloud nine, okay? And I, I don't think you have an idea of just how much you pull on them and how much you're able to really, you know, extract these intense range of emotions from your person, okay? Without even knowing, I feel like this is just who you are, Divine Feminine, this is just your essence, okay? And I feel like that adds another layer to it. You're not trying to do this, you know, you're not being strategic about this. You're literally just basking in your own energy and your person is literally going crazy, okay? So, yeah, I definitely get that. If this is resonating so far, um, your person is at this place where, you know, they're asking themselves, wow, you know, they're finally realizing why you were aligned on this journey, okay? They're finally realizing what your energy represents in their lives. So I definitely feel like you may have a little bit of history with your person. I feel like you've seen them grow. You may have seen lower versions of your person. You may have seen higher versions of your person here. Um, but I'm feeling like your energy to them represents unconditional love, okay? So it's almost as if you both have seen sides to one another and you still love one another here. Your person is also realizing that you were presented to them in their lives because you were exactly what it was that they needed here. And with them not understanding that, they may have definitely pushed you away a little bit. They may have definitely self-sabotaged in this connection here. And they're asking themselves, wow, am I kind of getting this wrong here? It's almost as if they're, they, um, they're, they've gone within here. It's like they're, they pull back their energy. They're trying to, you know, step back before moving forward to really, really understand what it is that they're doing and how they're handling you and what it is that they need to do moving forward here. So they're in a deep level um, of reflection at this stage of your connection, even if you are away from them here, okay? They are really, really consumed with thoughts of you at this time. They're thinking about themselves, they're thinking about you, and they're thinking about the connection as a whole here, okay? So I feel like you are very, very special to your person. They have a lot of love and admiration for you here, okay? And, you know, there, there, there could have been an isolated situation as well that made your person really, really look at themselves, take a hard look in the mirror, and um, look at how they've been showing up in this connection here. Let's get the next message. Wow, the next message we have here is, trust me with your heart, okay? It's almost as if your person is kind of telling you this or kind of asking you this, right? Um, and I feel like they're at this place where they realize that there's been a sort of dynamic shift within your connection, within your connection just due to a certain series of events that have taken place at this time here, okay? And I'm also getting that your person doesn't, they don't want you to misread them, okay? I feel like there has been a lot of misplaced emotions, okay? And because your person wasn't able to 
properly articulate what it was that they're feeling here. They have definitely, they've definitely evoked a lot of emotional responses from you that were not a reflection of what it was that they were actually feeling here, okay? And it's almost as if your person wants a do-over, okay? They want you to know that you can trust them with your heart, okay? So I definitely feel new energy coming into the connection. Your person is asking you to trust them moving forward. So they may have done something in the past to break your trust here. Um, there definitely may have been some type of dynamic shift where you could feel as if your person is not a safe space for you. Um, something here, but I definitely feel like your person is you know, at the place where they're they're really taking responsibility for their actions here and they're asking for your trust moving forward, okay? It's almost as if they know that if, if you're not in a place to really trust them, then the connection cannot really get deeper, okay? And you guys are not gonna be able to really connect um, on a deeper level here moving forward. Let's get the next message here. Wow. Yeah, we have, I want to be closer to you. Wow. I just got heart to heart. That's so beautiful. So I definitely feel like there's a lot that you need to discuss here. Okay, there's a lot that has gone unsaid. Um, and I feel like your person is at this place where they're taking accountability, okay? They're taking responsibility for whatever it was that they did in the past here. They've come into this awareness that they have made a couple wrong turns in the past here. And they desire to be close to you. They desire to have this level of intimacy with you here. I'm also getting that um, your person is realizing just how important or just how special you are, okay? Um, I feel like there's a lot of love here within this connection. And I definitely feel like there's new energy that's being infused in this connection and you both are kind of stepping into a new chapter at this stage here because your person is maybe becoming more spiritually inclined. Um, they definitely are realizing that you are the manifestation of unconditional love here. So it's almost as if, regardless of what it is you've been on, where, where it is you've been on your journeys here together, um, your person knows that they're still going to love you regardless. You know that you're still going to love your person regardless here. So I feel like there's definitely some type of communication that's coming in. Maybe there's a meeting here. Okay, I feel like your person may actually ask you, like, can we start over? You know, can you trust me? There's definitely new energy being infused in this connection. You both may definitely feel the energy rising um, at this time. Yeah, because this is definitely positive new change coming in here. And this is from your person really being in a place of introspection, um, looking at themselves and how they showed up and how this affected you, okay? Because I'm definitely getting that whatever it was that your person was dealing with has kind of spilled over into your connection. They're thinking about how this made you feel emotionally here. And they could have really, really evoked some emotions from you that were very unnecessary and that were misplaced. Okay, but yeah, your person wants to be close to you. You could definitely feel them pulling on your energy here. You could be feeling physical sensations as well because, yeah, at this time, your person wants you to know that, you know, you're the only person for them. You are the only one for them. You're, you're the only one that can make them feel this deep level of intensity, okay? And it's very important for them to have your trust. Okay, because I feel like they may have mishandled you in the past here. So let's get the next message. Wow, we have, we can't rush forever. Wow, so yeah, your person is at this state where they're realizing that not only 
is there a kind of like divine guidance within your connection here? They're realizing that this connection is something that is going to last forever. Okay, I'm definitely feeling like this is this is your person wanting to start over. This is your person saying, you know, you're going to be with me forever. We're going to have this love forever. We're going to have this connection forever. Let's start over. I made a wrong turn somewhere. I really want to regain your trust here. It's also very, very important for your person to know how they can regain your trust at this time as well. But they wanna start this by being more intimate with you, by being closer to you, by having more raw, real conversations. Where in the past, they were kind of afraid of getting lost in you. Now it's almost as if they wanna run right into you, okay? So this is very, very beautiful energy. I definitely feel like you will be reaching a new level of intimacy in your connection here because your person's heart space is currently expanding, okay? They're questioning what it was they were getting wrong. They understand that this connection is sacred, okay? And they're going to treat it as such moving forward. They want you to know that this is a forever thing, okay? There's no rush. Whatever it is that they need to get done, uh, whatever it is that they need to learn, okay? They really, really want to come together with you. They want both of you to explore this energy together here, okay? They're letting you know that there is no rush. They've already made their decision about what it is they want and they want you, okay? So these are the messages that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.